Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the best way to build a no money spent team. A couple of tips that I have for you guys. Now obviously I know someone's going to say Zerk you are definitely not no money spent and you are correct. I'm definitely not no money spent but I did actually do a no money spent series last year and I will be doing a no money spent series over here very very soon. The first episode, it might be Sunday, it might be like Monday or Tuesday, it's definitely going to be very, very soon though, coming up the second week at the latest. So, I did do No Money Spent last year, did pretty well with that, had a pretty good team at the end, was able to get a lot of coins, even though I really honestly like didn't play as much as I really wanted to, and with me moving all my gameplays over to Xerxes 2 this year, uh, with like regular card gameplays and everything, No Money Spent and Pac-Boy, that's still going to be over here, I do plan on focusing a little bit more on No Money spent this year so you guys can expect to see a lot more of that so i've kind of been making my own plan here and how i'm gonna start that team off because i'm about to start the series so i'm gonna go over that with you guys i do want to give a shout out to jacob robinson for being a part of the noda gang if you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video drop a like on the video make sure you guys are sub to the channel channel and comment down below noda gang so i'm gonna go over some things you guys should be focusing on kind of ways to build your team how you want to use your coins to build your team and also some pretty easy coin making methods for no money spent so a bunch of info here if this video does help you guys out drop a like and i would greatly appreciate it let's get into it so the number one thing you guys want to do when you start your no money spent team is take advantage of any free players that you guys can get now there are multiple ways to get some free players number one if you did happen to pre-order the game right still counts no money spent i guess right if you got like the mvp edition you got the dynasty edition whatever when you get all those free players, you log in, you get your loyalty rewards, you get those 82 overall players. Like, let's say you did pre-order the Dynasty Edition, you get like the Randy Moss, the Deion Sanders, whatever. You obviously want to keep track of who you're going to get there and use those players to build your team. But also, challenges give you a lot of free players. There's a lot of good solo challenges out in the game right now. Uh, flashbacks, do these. Do the, the Wildcard Wednesdays. Make sure you guys get these solos done. They're very, very easy to get done. You do get a power-up fantasy pack, so you can pick one power up from that week so you can easily take that sell it and then you guys can see your 20 stars you actually get a wild card fantasy pack so you literally get a full wild card wednesday player so it could be i'm not sure if it's gonna be every single player that's been released or it's gonna be like a choice of three whatever but you're gonna get an 87 plus overall player guaranteed at 20 stars so in three weeks from now you're gonna get that also 40 stars 60 stars like make sure you guys are playing these are very very quick solos these literally took me like seven minutes to do like very very easy stuff this is like throw a passing td pass for 45 yards very simple and they're on one stars easy solos there get those done for sure also make sure you guys are playing through your legend solos because doing these with the legend solos number one you do get nat 82 overall players i'll show you guys the missions tab for this but you also do go through and you get power ups and again if you go through the player these solos these are half game challenges there is like one additional requirement like rush for 75 yards uh you get the legends token which i'll show you guys the sets for that as well make sure you guys play through your solos because you can get a free legend uh when you get enough tokens you get the power ups you guys can sell those and you get nat lower overall versions you can kind of use those to complete sets or in general quick sell them add them to exchange sets you could also do that it's a lot of stuff i'm gonna be doing over on my no money spend account the gridiron solos obviously you want to get these done because you get a free jc jackson you get free packs pro fantasy pack gridiron pack 87 overall jc jackson elite player pack you want to get done all the solos you can. Superstars as well. You get a bunch of free superstar players right now. At the time of this video, the superstar solos are glitched and not working, but they should be soon. And then, of course, the campaign solos as well. Again, the campaign does give you a lot of free stuff. Silver better, gold or better. Uh, you do get to pick one 75 overall campaign player, which you can then go ahead and exchange into sets. Get like an NAT version of that core elite. You get some training, some coins, strategy items. You get your team captain. You want to make sure you're taking advantage of all of the solo challenges you can. Take advantage of all of the free cards you can potentially get. But as I said, I'm going to show you guys this real quick with the Legends specifically. Now, if you guys come over here to Legends, you will know 
notice when you play through the solos, you can actually get an NAT Novice Edition Legend. I believe it was a fantasy pack. I want to say it give you like a choice of like two players. So when you complete like pairs of solo challenges here, so when you complete Brandon Marshall's and Ed Reed solo, you're going to get a fantasy pack to give you a choice of one of two NAT Novice Edition Legends. Again, as I said, you can then take that player, use it in sets, quick sell for training. I would recommend you either use it in sets like the Legend sets, use the player, or exchange it go go take a look at the elite player exchanges and just exchange all those so you can get an auctionable player to sell it is definitely worth it to do and also when you play through the solos like i said you get the power-ups you can sell the power-ups a couple thousand coins here and there whatever and you also get the token now it is going to take a while but with these tokens the token exchange you guys see you need 40 tokens i do have eight of these tokens already from playing all the solo challenges i don't know if it's necessarily going to take this long to get done because you need 32 more it might take at the latest i would say 16 more weeks that does sound like a very long time and it is a very long time but it also is a free full legend player it's worth it to do and it's nat but it's still worth it to play for the solos to get everything else it's kind of like a bonus now another thing that you guys definitely need to be taking advantage of is your mutt levels and i'm going to show you guys right now the fastest way to level up there's really like two ways you can do it's about the same amount of time to level up as well but if you actually take a look here and you go to ultimate season and then we come over here to the ultimate season first quarter you guys can see when you go ahead and level up there's a bunch of things you can do in here make sure you guys take advantage of these because these are going to be a lot of xp right now and if we take a look at the actual rewards i'm not sure yes i can actually show you you can see there are a lot of good rewards you guys actually get playing through your mutt level and specifically this one is really big especially if you're a nobody spent team when you get to mutt level 10 you get an 86 overall nat rookie premier fantasy pack that is huge because you can get someone like jamar chase kyle pitts really really good cards right now uh you also get power passes i've made a video now on every single power pass the best players to use those on and a lot of other stuff you guys can check out my videos already made on maximum level 50 you can check out the rewards video if you want to see all of them currently there are two ways to actually go ahead and level up the fastest now one of them you guys can do is in campaign and i want to say it's week four if i remember correctly here week four and it's field goals you just go in here you kick field goals you just keep hitting replay challenge i know some people have been scared to do this because there have been people that have gotten like banned falsely banned for this but as of recently i've not seen any single person get banned for doing level grinding and also when you're doing the level grinding what i recommend back out every hour or so okay so don't sit here for five six hours and just keep doing it i recommend you back out every hour or so or the other thing you guys can do is actually going to be here in campaign week nine and it is this one right here it is number four so obviously you have to get through the campaign quite a bit to do this but it is number four and it's completed past this play pass for five or fewer yards now what you guys are going to want to do is have a playbook with wildcat in it and specifically i know what's in the steelers playbook if you guys know other playbooks let me know let me change my playbook to the steelers and i'll show you the play all right so we're now in the solo challenge and i am using the steelers playbook now you're gonna want to set it to no huddle so on next gen you just double click left stick on xbox how you said no huddle then you come down to wildcat and you want to do the jet touch pass now this counts as a pass with the solo so literally all you guys want to do as soon as you get the ball you just tap x and you fall down end of solo challenge that counts as a pass and that is how you do it then you just come in here boom replay challenge because you set it to no huddle it's going to instantly bring you out once again right to this i know there's some other methods people are doing as well they're really all relatively the same so that's really like the fastest way to level up right now also i do know that like solo battles which is nothing about to talk about here they actually updated it like recently to where solo battles you do go ahead and get like a decent amount of xp head to head you get a decent amount of xp and also getting your dailies done you guys see i just got that strategy item right there that is from opening up one pack and winning two games so you can go into the store and i'm going to showcase that for you guys right now winning two games can really be that just replaying the same solo over and over again and then also you want to get 15 first downs because that is going to give you a coin quick sell pack before the open a pack you're going to want to do the get a player pack okay so the get a player pack is very easy it's 500 coins obviously and i'm gonna come back to this in a minute here because this is something completely separate but this is also something that i recommend you guys do with no money spent to help build your team because this is an easy coin making method it's like guaranteed coins but as i said solo battles is another thing that i actually want to touch on now will you guys know i do have a video currently up on my channel on how to get top 100 in solo battles 
Now you can see right here for all of my games that I played, I kind of had a, I mean, a bad game right here, 24,672. I was top six. I was number six, I believe, at the end of the first round of solo battles. I've dropped all the way down to number 50 now. Number one, 260,000 score. That is absolutely insane you guys see i'm down here all the way at number 50 now with 224,000. we will see if i hold on my top 100 ranking i'm no solo battle expert but solo battles even if you guys can't get to top 100 if you go through here like right now i am 50 right so if i were to hold this i would get 190k two mrs two midfields two red zone and four touchdown packs even if I only get Legend, that's still 59k, 2 Hail Mary, 2 Midfield, and 2 Red Zone. All you gotta do is go through, put these on Legend difficulty, which it isn't gonna be the easiest thing ever if you don't have the best team. And you get some decent rewards. All you have to do is win. You don't gotta go for top 100. Now, coming back to the Get a Player packs, though, this is something that I do want to talk to you guys about. And an additional thing, Mutt Rewards, okay? So make sure you guys go to muttrewards.com right now. Go to muttrewards.com and link your EA account to muttrewards.com because doing that, you're going to get rewards. It's usually like once a month EA pushes out Mutt Rewards and basically it's just free packs. It's literally just free packs EA gives us. You might get like, let's say they push one out for superstars. If you're legend tier, which is a thousand packs open, you might get like two elite superstar packs, like that type of stuff. And to get those packs, right, to get your tiers up, to make sure you get to the thousand packs, I would do the get a player packs because this is something that I plan on doing a lot over on the No Money Spent account is get a player packs because these are easy profit, okay? If you get a gold, sell it. If you get an elite, sell it. If you get a silver, all you guys wanna do, come into here, Add it right here to the 66 to 69 overall exchange set. Or you can even exchange it if you want to, the 74 to 79, get that player. Personally, though, I like to just take the low silvers, exchange them into high silvers, high silvers into low gold. And then I go ahead and take those and I open those packs up. Because if you get a gold, you sell it. Or if you get a power up, you sell that as well. It's easy coins. You can pull a lot of really, really expensive golds out of this pack. Or you might get lucky, you might pull an elite, whatever. But make sure you guys go ahead and do this because this is an easy, easy coin making method right now. This is something that I'm really going to take advantage of over on when I start my No Money Spend account because I did this all year last year and I made a ton of coins. I made an, a ton of coins off the Get a Player Pack method and also being signed up for more rewards because it's just free packs. It's still no money spent. You're not spending any money to open up these packs right here. It is just 500 coins each. And as I said, you just add any silvers you get into exchanges. If you get a power up, sell it. You get an elite, sell it. Gold, sell it, whatever do it as you guys can see right here i just did another one of those packs just to get this final exchange set done and i got a 66 to 69 overall dj Moore, which you can see he's been selling for 3,000 coins each right so i'm just gonna put him up right there 3100 coins easy coins so right there that just paid for six packs but i also just got a bunch of other silvers and golds and stuff so it's worth it. And finally, when it comes down to actually building your team, that kind of stuff is more about getting your coins, getting the players, whatever. But when you have coins and you want to go out and build your team, it is very important, guys. Do not, do not do this, okay? So many times players come out with like Bo Jackson, Mike Vick, Randy Moss, right? And you're so tempted to get them if you have 300,000 coins, right? But you have an 82 overall team. Don't go spend all your coins on one player spread it out evenly throughout your team but obviously when it comes to like budget players whatever i did already do a video going over the best budget players currently in the game but i really think something you guys want to take advantage of is these superstar cards because they do have built-in abilities and that is obviously going to help your team out a lot even if you can only get these 80 overall players the 82 overall players whatever terrell edmonds right here I know he's 11k, but he's got 86 speed, 86 excel. He's a six foot one great user card right there. And in general, build your team. Really, when you're starting off, speed is key, especially when you're a very low overall. Try to find some fast corners that you guys like. Try to find some fast wide receivers, especially when you are a lower overall team. If you're, you know, an 82 overall team, you're gonna get matched up versus some really, really good players. So having a 84 speed wide receiver out there. Is not going to help you too much when you're facing 87 88 speed right even though you might have some decent rounding or catching you're probably just not going to get open so you really want to build for speed and take advantage of all those free players oh and one final thing make sure you guys also go ahead and work on your cam chancellor there's a lot of stuff you guys can get done in here like increasing your team overall getting those wins cam chancellor is an absolute monster i do actually already have him maxed out check out uh zerk to two for gameplay over there you guys can see 80,000 passing yards 400 rush tds there's a lot of stuff you guys can get done in here but cam is a big part of building any team because he's an absolute monster so that being said hope you guys enjoy the video see you guys next time next time.